Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel for more interesting stories like these. Now, let's get into today's story video. Discovered Mom's Affair with Business Partner Essentially, what the title suggests. My parents are a married couple with three children who have been married for 30 years. They had the most lovely marriage I had ever seen. I reside with my so, but I recently finished college. My younger brother stumbled through text messages between my mom and her lover. He handed them over to me, and I addressed her. When she found out, she was shocked, and she said it had been a short, not emotional affair in 2015. They were considering resuming it. My younger brother can't face having this on his conscience, so I told her she had to notify my father. To be honest, neither can I I'm in a bad way. My mother and her business partner were both married and had children. The business was operated in a very family-like manner. As an intern, I worked for them many times. I had been attending weekly meetings with them the whole time and had no clue what was going on. My mom was the person I spent the most time with. I'm worried about my father and family. If I'm being really honest and selfish, I feel betrayed by the person who is the most important person in the world to me. We held birthday parties, PBQs, and other family activities. I feel like she compelled me to be a witness to her adultery. I really should have known better. She's trying to keep my father in the dark. As a present, I handed her the weekend. I also chatted with her partner in business-slash-affairs. He begged that I not tell anybody. I told him he could notify his wife or that I would do so. I'm devastated. I'm not sure what advice I need, but thank you for taking the time to read my concern. Update. In any case, my mother notified my father and her business partner informed his wife, who then informed my mother. When I discovered out, I gave her three days to come up with a plan. The suggestion that I paint the city red and take my mother's life in mind was made by a few of you. My mother is not so my loathe and she does not deserve to be publicly nailed to a cross. I was under the impression that she should have the information rather than me. Without a doubt, my father was, insert all appropriate feelings here. He was even more displeased with the fact that my brother and I had been dragged into this mess by our parents. He assured us that he loves us and that this would have no effect on our relationship, which worried me since we have always been closer to our mother. My mother is well aware of the fact that what she did was awful. She is appealing for forgiveness and asserts that she is doing everything correctly. I'm taking a break from conversing with her at the moment. Perhaps my brother and father are also taking some time to reflect on their lives as well. Couples and family counseling will be accessible in the near future. And everyone is seeking for unique therapy options. Whether my parents will stay together is out in the air at this point. Nevertheless, I am aware that they are both hesitant to abandon a 30-year relationship. I still believe my mother spoke the truth and I made it clear that I was willing to supply any and all evidence in support of this belief. As a result, my family has had a very tough time, and it will continue to be difficult, as we all work through a very terrible situation. Please accept my heartfelt thanks for your kind words and support. In all honesty, I would advise against placing too much trust in Reddit, since I got some bizarre suggestions. However, at a time when I was feeling alone and hopeless, the messages meant a great deal to me. Aside than that, I'm not sure what is going on with the business. Her spouse, I believe, is on the verge of quitting. If that is the case, I anticipate him to play a far less role in the company's management. At the present, I am in an extremely difficult circumstance, and I have no way of escaping it at this point. Story 2. Still hurts after two years. For 4.5 years, I, 30 male, was in a relationship with 35 female. On a regular basis, I am happy and loving yet I'm also disturbed. She had a drinking issue. She drank often and in large quantities. In one night, all sorts of drink were mingled together. She was an extremely furious, aggressive, and physical alcoholic who would sometimes be violent towards me. Nothing wrong with that, but it's clearly a huge line crossed. She'd get booted out of weddings, including one when I was a groomsman, create conflicts in public, and even provoke fights that resulted in her being assaulted. Random males sometimes came at the door, probably encouraged there, and I lost count of the amount of taxi drivers I had to bargain with to return phones or calm them when they weren't paid. It was awful, and I was foolish enough to believe I could assist, or that she would miraculously awaken one day and figure herself out. I was much more patient than I should have been. I was always the one who cleaned up the mess. It was my first relationship, and I was dating with the intention of marrying. 
I was also terrified to leave since I didn't want to be alone. It did, however, inevitably create major problems in the partnership. The repercussions and hangover sadness she was perpetually in was a whirlwind of feelings. I vehemently recommended counseling or better control each time, and each time I had a sharp defensive reaction, and you can image the rest. Furthermore, for 18 months, at the end, she was surreptitiously cheating with a married guy she met drunk in a pub, who also happened to be a work colleague. This was discovered by her later. They'd meet in secret, either at our house or his. They would drink and have together, which supposedly occurred at least 10 times. It came out when the other person messaged me to explain what had happened, as he was obviously an alcoholic seeking counseling to mend his, divorced, marriage. I didn't answer, but I did confront my ex about it. At the time, I was foolish enough to trust my ex's narrative sense, it seemed reasonable enough. I was skeptical, really, but I was also loving the feel of all the sand around my head. Cheating occurs to other people, not to me, I reasoned. After a few months, we decided to call it quits in September 2020. One dispute too many. I'm lying in bed one night when a light bulb flashes off in my head regarding this weird message I received from this man a few weeks ago, so I react by asking whether it was real. He claims it is, so I put my ex on the spot. She insists it isn't, so I tell her he didn't say that. Then she comes clean and confesses. Cue immediate terror. She gets a spontaneous twinge of empathy for someone else and asks me to chat about it later that evening at her house. I knew it was a bad idea, but I was so traumatized, to be honest, that knowledge looked like the greatest solace. When I arrive, instead of contrition, I get verbal abuse and threats of violence after expressing my evident distress. In my distraught condition, I lost myself, took a spare set of keys, and unintentionally entered and damaged her property, resulting in a police caution, which I'm not proud of, but hasn't become a source of joy either. I'll skip the rest of the nonsense. There were more hopeful talks about empathizing with me during Christmas 2020 during a naive effort to form a friendship, but we drifted apart. Last spring, I went to therapy, learned a lot about myself, and came out a much wiser and healthier person. I last heard from her in June 2021, after she got had a bad automobile accident and I believe she was looking for some cheap emotional validation, which I didn't supply, and was curious as she was dating her now boyfriend at the time. Sus, I don't believe the narcissist within her anticipated this. So I got a beautiful diatribe about how I was a broken record, and no one cared what I thought. I'd had too much therapy at that time to take it too seriously, but it irritated me. It irritated me that it irritated me. Make no mistake about it, she is a train wreck narcissist, I miss her company, but I don't want her back. She clearly hasn't matured, and I only feel sorry for her current partner, who will be enjoying a similarly beautiful life without knowing what she's up to in secret while also being love-bombed and future-fabricated as I was. I, on the other hand, am more at peace than I have ever been in my life. It might be lonely at times, but I wouldn't trade it for anything. It irritates me, though, that she continues to absolve herself of any responsibility. I tell myself it's the overwhelming shame she feels, and I'm probably correct. If she ran into me in public, I'm sure she'd flee like the coward she is. A growing part of me wants this to happen, and I shouldn't. I shouldn't be bothered. I feel the sorrow she created and the one to demonstrate that I am not damaged by it, that I am strong in spite of her and how she has wrecked. My essential ideas about relationships. Despite how much I like the serenity, I think it's an indication of how destructive this was that I'm sitting here writing this. Or do I just need to get over it since it's been so long? Thank you for taking the time to read. Comments are appreciated.